Coach, let's go to the second topic here. It dovetails well from what what you can do with offensive line cluster injuries. Let's say you make a trade in season to help the offensive line, or let's talk about midseason trades. For example, um, Robbie Anderson comes to Arizona, uh, or not even a trade. DeAndre Hopkins Allison is activated, or if Cam Akers is traded or CMC, how hard is it to acclimate a guy, whether it's an offensive lineman or a Robbie Anderson or you name it in a midseason trade? Like for example, Robbie Anderson got traded. We're recording this on Wednesday. Is he playing on Thursday? And and if he does, can you ever even get him to do anything? You know, to me, it depends on the guy. And there's some guys that come in and they they don't get caught up in oh God I got to learn a whole new system. Uh, you you give them a, a set of plays. They're they're comfortable. They know how to play, uh, and they they move in and and are fine. Uh, you have a you have a small little package for them. Uh, but some guys uh, it takes time, and and that's the problem we talked about. Back to the offensive line. It, those guys are in there and working together with your plan guard. You're working with left it's, tackle. You're working with a center. You see now all these teams running three man games because they know there's a guy in there who hasn't worked with a guard. So I think I think the secondary and the offensive line are the toughest place places to really get a trade and then have a guy have an impact. So for a wide receiver, you could see a package of plays. Okay, we're only going to call these six plays for you and we're going to run them a couple times and you can do no, something no but the question. offensive line is a different I'll story i'll give you an example because you'll remember it uh he had had the bad knee injury uh alexander Don, he, he was he played at missouri played at st louis we he was a free agent he was on the street we signed him in 2012 and he ended up catching 60 balls in, in, in the last seven games and had a 16-yard average, and he became Phillips' go-to guy. Uh, but he was on the street because he had a severe injury, and then when he came in, he we gave him, hey, these are your routes, here's the adjustments, don't worry about the play, we'll put the other guys. Phillip could t- tell him what to do in the huddle. It was a unique situation, but, you know, those things happen. 